So what are the top five best personal credit cards for the year 2021? And to help me today, I got one of my best friends, Mr. Melvin Johnson from Mosh Capital. So let's go ahead and cue that intro and let's get right into it. What's going on guys, it's Daniel, one half of the Clock Brothers. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the top five best personal credit cards. And again, I got one of my best friends, Mr. Melvin Johnson. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? You want to talk a little louder into the microphone oh, so yeah. that people can actually hear you? <laughs> there we go. Don't be so timid now. You know, right. you know what they say about, you know, anyways. Uh, <laughs> so, so guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. But let's go ahead and get right into it to the content that you guys all want to hear. Melvin, what are the top five best credit cards for personal use in the year 2021? So I'm going to start with the first card on this list. And this card is designed for those who, like me, we like to go out and eat. We love to eat in home. This card helps you to generate the amount, the most amount of points as it relates to uh, the reward points that you can generate on a credit card. And that's the American Express Gold Card. I think that that is the absolute best card for food in 2021. So if you like going out to eat, this card here gives you $120 per year as a dining credit. OK, and also this helps contribute. If you're like me, you like to you know order Grubhub or DoorDash. This also helps you to maintain the uh, four times the amount of reward points that you're able to generate on this card as well. Now you have to enroll for this particular program. This isn't something that actually comes with the card, but it's a feature that you're able to activate once you have the, the card. This card is also phenomenal because it offers uh, 60,000 points in membership rewards upon spending $4,000 within the first six months. Now, one of the things I'd like to sort of highlight with this card is that if you have a car like this, this is a charge car, um, not necessarily a revolving car in the way that some of our other personal cars function. It's more so of a charge car. This car also has a feature where you're able to uh, have a pay over time feature where if you spend over $100, you're able to pay that amount with interest over time and it functions like a revolving a card at this particular point. So spending $4,000 within the first six months, you're able to have almost $1,200 in reward points, okay, equivalent to $1,200 in reward points just within the first uh, six months, which also covers the $250 fee annual fee um, over the course of five years. So this card is phenomenal if you like to be rewarded for eating. Second card on this list is a card for those of you who love traveling. I myself, I do not like flying. I am a driver. Uh, Daniel and I were talking earlier about how I love to drive. I would drive 14 hours if I had to. Um, and he would prefer hopping on a plane. Um, so the second card on this list is the Chase Freedom Unlimited. This card is phenomenal because it has no annual fees. Um, I know a lot of us like that. Our last card did not have that, but this card has no annual fees, meaning you do not pay anything or an annual fee uh, just for having this card. It has a phenomenal welcome bonus. Um, if you spend uh, $500 in the first three months of having this card, you have a $200 bonus with 5% cash back over 12 months for all grocery store purchases. Also, this is a 0% APR for the first 18 months, guys. I used this card when I was working on one of my fix and flips. Being able to borrow money at 0% interest was phenomenal. I don't know anyone out there that's going to argue with that. So the reason why I believe this card is best for travel is because you earn 5% when booked directly through uh, a hotel or that particular flight agency and a point and a half on everything else. Okay. You cannot beat that. If you are a traveler, if you like uh, flying or staying in hotels, this is the absolute best car for you. Utilize this car and get that cash back. Third car on this list is for those of you who love shopping online. This card is the absolute best there is in the market currently. And it has a few perks that I think that you will particularly like. Okay. The third card on this list is the Amazon credit card. There's no annual fee as with the Chase Unlimited card. There's a welcome bonus of a hundred dollar gift card just for signing up. So if you're approved for this card, there's a hundred dollar gift card that you're able to receive. And this is why I think that this card is absolutely amazing for anyone that's shopping online because you get 5% cash back on any purchases made on Amazon. And if you do not have prime, there's 3% cash back on all whole food purchases. Okay. You have 2% cash back also on any Purchase made at a restaurant and 2% cash back on anything else. Now, at the time of this video, there was a special product that was 10% off any special products that they had listed on their website, which makes this card to me uh, a, a complete no brainer for any of you that love shopping on Amazon. You definitely need to have this card in your wallet. And that's my card at number three. And at number four, this is the card for those of you who are looking to earn reward points on the gas. Okay. 
With this card, you'll earn 3% cash back on U.S. gas station purchases and all transits. Okay, that includes taxis, ride shares, parkings, tolls, trains, whatever. And this is the American Express Blue Cash Preferred card. Okay, not only are you able to get 3% on the gas, you're also able to earn up to 6%, up to $6,000 for all money spent in U.S. supermarkets. And then also an additional 6% of all money spent on streaming services. Okay, so you want to take advantage of this. Now, for some of you, I know we don't like annual fees, but the cash back that you can potentially earn offsets that if you're able to activate some of those promotions that are given for having this card. This card also has a $95 annual fee associated with it. But if you spend at least $1,000 within the first three months, you can get up to $250 in reward points for this card. So for my number four, my blue cash preferred card is the number one card for gas, my number four card on this list. Number five on this list, this is the everyday card, an underrated card, and part of that is its problem, but uh, it's the XI credit card. Now, you may have not heard of this card yet, and that's okay. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this card. This card has high limits, higher limits than you, we typically see individuals being approved for on a personal side. One of the best features about this card is that you are able to get approved with a soft credit pool. Now, if you know anything about credit, a lot of times we are trying to avoid having hard inquiries put on our credit file. And with this card, you don't have to worry about that because it's not until you accept the card that you will receive a hard inquiry on your credit file. Yes, after you receive the card. So yes, you can know what the amount that you received on this card and whether or not you received it or not before you received a hard inquiry on your credit file. Now, one of the cons to the card is that yeah. uh, it's not out yet. It's not expected to be released into mid 2021. So if you would like more information about this card, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Like this video for more information about the official release date. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video, as Melo said, to stay updated on everything we got going on. Big thank you to Melvin Johnson for being here from Mosh Capital, and I'll see you guys in the next one.